Vid IQ versus TubeBuddy. Honest review, not an affiliate. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between Vid IQ and TubeBuddy. Both are platforms that enable you as a content creator or as a YouTuber to boost your sales, manage your channels, and see your overall progress. So these two are probably the most popular ones and I am not an affiliate for either one of these. I have used these and I'm going to be doing a comparison in between their amazing features, what are the pros and cons of both of these, and the pricing. So in terms of setting up, it's rather easy to sign up on either one of these and first off I'm going to focus on vidIQ. So VidIQ actually sources, outsources your channel management and digital marketing to make sure that you get a larger target audience. This is their basic dashboard you can see over here. Then they also have a extension version, which is probably the one that I recommend to most people. They have a browser extension that you can add to Google Chrome. And that enables you to just view your channel's health while you are on YouTube and you can manage everything as you go. So you can see I have the vidIQ extension now and that's going to direct me back to YouTube. So you can see over here now I have vidIQ added and it usually opens up this tutorial. So you can now go into your home and now you can go on ahead and take a look at your upload schedule. You can manage everything over here and you can also get statistics and real-time trending data in your bar panel right over here as well in your recent videos as well. So if I click on over here and change my channel, so I'm going to switch my account to show you guys a sample of another channel that I have like so now you can see i can go into my channel and on the top right i have this little bar section that helps me view the overall hours watched 48 hours how many views i got in the last 48 hours and shorts views minutes watched, and the average minutes watched as well then if i go into my own channel i can manage my videos i can go on ahead and export the data that i have you also have trending and stats provided by vidIQ now some of vidIQ's best features have to definitely include narrowing down what actually matters to your uh, watch time. So you want to increase watch time. That's the goal of everyone that is creating, you know, YouTube videos. You want to have more watch time. The more watch time you have, the more people are clicking on your videos and if I click on analytics over here on this super old video, you can see it gives me like a bird eye view of everything and you can see your engagement numbers from Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube and the analytic tools are easy to outperform because they are super well organized and appealing. So it's, you know, a very nice function and the best part is, is that there's a function on YouTube called best time of day ensuring that your channel's programming schedule is covered for maximum interaction so usually it's going to be a specific time when you upload because this is a sample channel it doesn't have multiple uploads but if you have a few uploads you can actually see the optimum time which would be for you to upload that gets you the maximum amount of views and coverage on your youtube videos as well and using this also enables you to get you know real-time views as well as this video typical retention as well i don't have that for the sample channel but you can get typical retention and it really helps you in generally you know keeping viewers engaged for a longer period of time i can click on since uploaded and i can go on ahead and monitor the stats the key moments the average view duration and the average percentage of the video that was viewed and you also have some other services for channel management back in your vidIQ dashboard. So you have daily ideas where you can go on ahead and view the different kinds of keywords that are available. Plus, they also have customization ideas. They also have keywords that you can use in your videos as well as competitors. So if you link your channel and you compare your channels, you can see how you compete against other people creating similar kind of content. And there is, you know, a optimizable strategy you can obtain by viewing and analyzing your competitors as well. Then you also have subscribers boost and SEO boost as well, where you can get more views on older videos by uh, improving their SEO. And then you also have max where you can record your sessions and upload them. And on the top right, you have your basic uh, vidIQ settings. 
Now, if I go back into TubeBuddy, so getting started on TubeBuddy, you just click on sign in over here. And once you click on sign in, you can continue on by agreeing to their terms of service, signing in using our Google account, use whatever Google account is linked to your YouTube channel. It really helps you in the signing up process. So now you can see over here, I've added TubeBuddy. Now with TubeBuddy, there are a few things I don't like. First off, their dashboard is not as integratable. It can be a little difficult to navigate, but it still is okay. I wouldn't say that it's like a super bad tool. I still do think it's a good tool. And if you go into the home section, you can go on ahead and view everything as it is. You also have integrations and add channel. So you can go on ahead and link your YouTube channel, whatever email it might be on. So we're going to click on allow and you're just going to allow them to access your data. And a key feature that I really like with TubeBuddy is their custom thumbnail generator. So it's like a really good platform to use, especially if you want to do bulk processing of all of your uh, items. So over here, you can also click on install an extension and you can get a bird's eye view of the data as well. So you can copy cards, delete cards, update cards, copy end screens on TubeBuddy. And this can reduce the time you spend on creating each individual video instead of having to do it over and over again that can be a very difficult thing so this is a function that i really like with tubebuddy now this tool also helps you in optimizing your listing so that it appears to be related to worldwide viewership lists so that is you know keyword a term you know it's related to keyword research as well but now you can see i have my tubebuddy extension and i'm just going to click on over here you can click on sign up add channel they're just going to click on your account, making sure everything is added and like so. Okay, got it. And now you can see you have a bunch of different options on the free version of TubeBuddy as well. And now if I was to do a side-by-side a -side comparison, you can see that vidIQ just visually and in terms of features does outdo TubeBuddy in terms of their basic, you know, starting versions, their free versions. But if you do think that you want to do bulk editing and you have like a large uh, template video or large amount of videos, if you do a lot of things with your YouTube channel, you're not focused on each individual video and rather than that, you're focused on the overall quantity of videos, then uh, TubeBuddy is definitely going to be helpful in terms of setting those up. Now, if I were to compare the pricing of both of these, you can see over here that vidIQ actually has a free version where you have three daily ideas you can get. You can track yourself with three competitors and you can get one trend alert. And you also have basic email support, video scores cards, and live status bars, as well as you can compare your views and get, you know, basic video analytics. Then the pro version starts at $7.50 per month, where you have things such as six competitor trackings, bulk YouTube descriptions, keyword research tools, top tweets for videos, top trending videos, as well as comparison of view, keyword research tools, best time of day tools as well. Now, if I was to compare this to TubeBuddy, so the TubeBuddy Pro version starts at $2.80 per month, but you need to keep in mind that TubeBuddy does not have any kind of free version, so you can't really do anything for free. But on their Pro version, they have features such as a card template, end screen templates, bulk editing features, video topic planners, as well as comment formatting, bulk copy cards. You also cannot generate bulk copy cards, but you can do things such as opportunity finders seo studios insta suggest as well on their pro version the free version is basically limited to just viewing your youtube channel rather than being able to optimize it but then they also have their legend version starting at $26.50 per month where they have all of their features included but if i was to compare this to the boost version of vidIQ which starts at $39 so the boost version is slightly more expensive than their legend version but it also has some more premium features such as best day of time live group coaching unlimited access to previous sessions as well as wide channel tag comparison of views thumbnail previews inline tags and so much more so in terms of just feature to feature i definitely would recommend 
vidIQ for generally if someone is just creating their YouTube channel, I would recommend vidIQ. But if you're someone that creates a lot of content and you are focusing on finding a tool to optimize your bulk editing, then I would suggest that you should get started with TubeBuddy instead. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.